Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to an undecorate and clean with me. Today I am taking down Christmas, putting all of our decorations away and just giving everything a really good clean. I've also got some new storage for our decorations that I wanted to show you guys and it just felt really good to do this because as you know, I put up our decks very early at the beginning of November so I was so ready to take it all down, have that kind of neutral canvas in our house again and we also have had family stay over the holidays so I really need to change all of the bedding wipe everything down it just felt really messy we've hosted so much had so many people around so it definitely needed a good clean so I hope you really enjoy this video I hope it inspires you if you haven't already had like a new year's clean if you do like it give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here I would love you to subscribe for more content like this um, but yeah this is a bit of a before situation as you can see there's some presents everywhere um, I need to change all of the Christmas bedding this is where my niece and nephew stayed um, they came over for 10 days with my sister and that was so nice so this is the room they were in so I need to change again the bedding give everything a clean I've been hanging laundry literally everywhere because the prices have gone up on our tumble dryer so everywhere you look there seems to be laundry at the moment so I'm going to try and put all of that away um, this is our utility room at the moment I'm also going to do some more laundry and just I just need to do an extreme clean um, but first off I think I will actually start downstairs and take down this family tree I talked about it in my decorate with me but this is very much the tree where all of the kids like homemade um, ornaments are it's my favorite I love it so much everything on this is really precious um, and this is the storage that I bought for this year so I got three tree bags two smaller Christmas bags and this massive bauble bag which is almost like a double one there's so much that it can hold and it comes with these little cardboard inserts so you kind of just put it together fill it up with decorations and then you put another piece of card on top of it like that and then again fill up each layer this double bag fit all of our decorations that are on this tree. So I'm just gonna start by taking all of the decks off, putting them into this storage. It's funny how the boys, as you can see ones on the left there, they were so excited to help me decorate, not as excited to help me undecorate. So I'm just gonna take it all off and put it away. And I also meant to say in the intro that in this video, I'm also gonna show you that our new couch finally arrived. It did actually come in time for Christmas as well. So I'll show you that. And there's also a few updates in the boys playroom as well they got a big Christmas present with which if you follow me on Instagram you will have already seen it but I will show you that as well in this video um, but yeah just gonna layer all of the decorations in here and then also pack up the tree skirt which you can kind of see there to the left as well everything on this tree as I said fit into this box which was brilliant and just such a nice way to store it I'll link all of these in the description down below if you want to check them out or buy them as well once the baubles are off all that's left to do is to take the lights off as well we've had this tree for years it's a fake one and I know we'll have it for many more it's a seven foot tree I believe but we also have a second one in our front room which is a pre-lit tree and if we ever replace this one I would totally get a pre-lit one just to save us this job of taking the lights off whenever we do this though we do wrap it round a gift wrap roll just to keep it organized and that seems to really work um, but now this is one of the bags that I bought again just on Amazon I think they come either six foot or seven and a half foot so this is a seven and a half foot bag um, but the tree obviously breaks down into two pieces so you kind of just squeeze it in we put the lights in the stand in so it's all in that bag so it feels nice and organized because in the past we've just been trying to put it back into the box it arrived in and that's worked for a few years but now the box is getting really worn down so we were like let's just invest in a couple of these Christmas tree bags even though it's a fake tree it has shed loads and excuse those wires we're still in the process of renovating we're actually going to build some cupboards in this area 
very soon. We're going to almost make it like a bit of a boot room because it's close to the hallway and it's quite like it's I mean it's close to like the front door and it's quite a wide area so we thought it would be great to use for storage because the amount of hats and coats and um, boots and shoes that we all have is crazy. Um, anyway that is the first tree taken down. Next up I'm going to get my husband Matt to help me put away this dining room table. This year we hosted because most of our renovations are done and we had 18 people for dinner. It was 11 adults and 7 children so we knew that was happening so we saved this dining room table for the purposes of that. So we have a new table which you can see to the right there which sits 12 and then we also had this table and it was just just luck that they were the exact same like level so it really worked to make a long table so we had the kids on one side and then all the adults down this side um, but yeah we're going to put that away we can easily just take the legs off and we're going to stick it into our garage in case we ever need it again for something like this this was our centerpiece it's seven foot long so I bought another one of these Christmas tree bags for it and we kind of had to bend it um, but it worked and then I'm also going to put in a garland as well because there was quite a bit of room left in this bag um, so yeah then I'm just going to zip that up and then that's kind of this room like undecorated so now I'm going to go upstairs and I'm actually going to put some laundry on I thought I could get all of the bedding going wow and then while that's going I could undecorate another room um, so yeah starting out in our room I'm just going to take all of the sheets off and then move to the rest of them and I think I'll give you a break from me talking for a minute and I'll play you some music <laughs> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Shine in the day 
Okay, so that is Caleb's bedroom, all undecorated. I put up fairy lights in there this year, his little bunting, which you would have seen. Um, and that is actually the room that my sister stayed in. And then our kids kind of bunked in together. So I just wanted to give it a really good clean, do the bedding, wipe everything down, and it feels a lot better now. I also vacuumed in there. Um, and by the time I did all of that, the first load of laundry with the sheets was done. So I'm just going to hang that up in here. We put some hooks on the walls in here so it's easy to hang sheets. And then I'm also going to put in a second set as well. And another place which is amazing to hang sheets, especially in the winter. It's quite rainy here in the UK at the moment. Uh, but our new bed is perfect for hanging sheets up um, if I hang them here during the day they're done like nice and dry by the evening um, so I'm just going to hang it there and then I'm also going to go downstairs and I actually put our ruggable runners in the wash ruggable if you don't know they're like very thin carpets that velcro to this base and it kind of makes them feel thicker but the best thing about them is you can easily chuck them into the washing machine whenever you need to so I did that because we've had so much traffic over the holidays and they really wash up well like sometimes I look at them and they look a bit gray so I'll wash them and they come out so much nicer um, so now that they're all washed and dried I'm just putting them back onto the velcro base and I vacuumed them as well because like for the day that I've been washing them the base has still been done and like things like kinetic sand fluff just general dirt has attached itself to the velcro so I just vacuum it and that seems to work really well this is definitely easier to put back on with two people normally I do it with Matt but he actually wasn't here at the time that I put them back and now that they're back down I'm also going to vacuum the rest of our living area as I said it's got quite messy there's been loads of people here lots of people eating there's been kinetic sand and loads of fun with new presents so it really needs needed a good vacuum so I'm just gonna run around this whole area and do that when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun um we know what we have let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Oh, you and I, we got it Oh, we don't need no And now I wanted to show you that our new couch has finally arrived. You're not seeing it at its best because so many people have sat on it and I've had throws on it as well during the holidays. But I'm going to actually take them off. We're having friends over tomorrow um, for New Year's Day. So I kind of wanted to take them off, wash them, give it all like a bit of a fluff up and like zhuzh where the kids have been sitting on it for ages. These throws have been brilliant though because we have got a cream sofa even though we've got three kids and a dog. I know we're mental, but we feel like they're old enough to do this now. And we're really pleased with how it's turned out. It took 15 weeks to arrive. Um, so it was very much um, an exciting moment when it finally arrived. And it was actually um, before Christmas, which was amazing. So I'm just fluffing up the cushions. They are very choppable. And as you can see, the dog has no no respect for the fact that I've taken the throws off <laughs> she's just on the couch um, but yeah that's our couch and then this is the boys playroom for Christmas they got a pool table and a table tennis like topper thing and they've been using it loads and so have the rest of the family it's been so brilliant um, but yeah in here I've managed to find places in our storage 
for all the presents. Our storage is from Ikea, um, but I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down and that is pretty much all I'm gonna do in here. Then I'm also gonna take down our garlands we have in the stairs. I attached them with zip ties, so I'm just gonna cut them off. And then we also have another one upstairs as well. So I'm gonna take them down, package them away for next year. I don't know if I should get new ones. These are very natural ones. I feel like every year more and more falls off of them and I don't know if they need replacing now. Um, anyway, I'm gonna keep them, see how I feel next year. And then I'm also gonna take down everything in our front room. So in here, we just have a quite simple pink and white tree. Um, most of the decorations are from Cox and & Cox and I have a smaller box like the other storage that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm just gonna take all of that off put them away and then put this tree away as well. Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we well, you know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more This is how Matt took the tree bag to the garage. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything undecorated. The only other thing I did was take down our hot chocolate station at night. I did this at night because I knew the kids would not want to say goodbye to it. So that's why this footage is very dark. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.